So do you remember back in the day when we first got a look at Watch Dogs 1 gameplay at E3 and it looked absolutely groundbreaking graphically, so much so the hype was unreal and pre-orders began flooding in similar to how people reacted to seeing the GTA 5 trailer for the first time. It felt like this was going to transform gaming forever with how amazing it looked visually. However, Watch Dogs 1 is finally released and it looks nowhere near as good as the E3 footage and is massively downgraded. It felt like the biggest catfish of all time and it's something that will be remembered and attached to the Watch Dogs franchise forever. It was very disappointing for players and it was the cause for the large amount of negative reviews. I was so disappointed I even returned my game to get my money back and the mop head buck tooth bin behind the counter got the right ump. But just a few weeks ago, a mod was made which somehow ports the amazing visuals from the early builds shown in trailers to the current Watch Dogs game, transforming how it looks, providing the game we should have got. Here are some comparisons of the before and after. There is a major difference here and it somehow still holds up. After seeing this, I got a major rod on and had to download this for myself and I can safely say it is very easy to install and is definitely worth checking out. Just before I show you how to install this, here is a quick word from this video sponsor. If you would like to own a RGH Xbox 360 that allows you to do the impossible, for example, play emulators such as SNES, PlayStation 1, Sega Mega Drive, Nintendo DS, Game Boy, and the list goes on, mess around with friends in online lobbies, and so much more, just click the link below to the worldwide leading supplier of RGH Xboxes, the console warehouse, and browse their incredible collection and find out more on what they can do. So, how do you install this? All you need to do is click the download link below, download the files and simply drag them into your data underscore win64 folder which is located in your Watch Dogs game installation as shown on screen. Load up your game and you're good to go. And it's pretty damn impressive, what can I say? Imagine if this was the game we got back in 2014. I wouldn't have been able to leave the room I don't think and I would have to drink my dog piss to keep hydrated as these graphics still look amazing even today and if you want more than just better visuals you can also download the Watch Dogs E3 reimagining mod which ports so many different features from the E3 build which is absolutely amazing it's literally like playing the Watch Dogs gameplay we saw from the E3 build if you would like to see a full breakdown and tutorial of this just go ahead and like the video and if you would like to see how how Watch Dogs 1 holds up in 2023, go ahead and click the card on screen as it might surprise you. Thank you guys for watching as always and have a great rest of your day.